the matter in which police conduct their investigative work and the involvement of defense lawyers and other related experts in the process were among the topics that National Assembly or NA members were interested in during ongoing debate. Deputy Minister of Public Security, Brigadier General Gong Tong Pong Vijit, represented the ministry to respond to the National Assembly members' queries at the ongoing debate at the Ninth Ordinary Session of the National Assembly. In his response, Brigadier General Gong Tong referred to the rights and role of investigative police stipulated by Articles No. 53 and 54 in the Law on Criminal Procedures, which he said police have respected. Brigadier General Gong Tong confirmed there are some police officers who hold bachelor's or master's degree in relation to investigative principles and stressed that the necessary forensic science and medical jurisprudence are complied with. Regarding the appointment of technical experts for involvement in the investigation process, the deputy minister said the victims, accused persons, witnesses, investigative police, and prosecutors are encouraged to participate in the investigation. However, the people involved in the investigation should not involve individuals stipulated by Article No. 106 of the Law on Criminal Procedures promulgated in 2012. Concerning the intervention of defense lawyers or other defenders in the process, Brigadier General Gong Tong said they are permitted by Article No. 71 of the law, but they should be appointed by the Lao Bar Association. The spread of drugs throughout society was also among the concerns National Assembly members raised as a query to the security body. Brigadier General Gong Tong admitted that drugs have caused an increase in the prevalence of crime and could potentially threaten the political regime. He said the ministry has appointed officers who are competent to the posts at the points of risk to join the, with local authorities to combat the trafficking. The ministry also guided the Department of Citizen Registration and Grassroots Development to spy on suspected drug dealers. Treatment of prisoners was also questioned by National Assembly members such as the fact that some prisoners were permitted to leave prison to receive treatment in provincial hospitals through agreements from the higher authorities, but in fact they have gone to their homes instead. In regards to these allegations, the Deputy Minister said the Ministry has appointed the related department to inspect the case and ensure that the prisoners serve their terms of imprisonment. According to him, there were 288 prisoners who were released in Vientiane in the period from 2013-2015, of which 55 ended up being re-incarcerated. Brigadier General Gong Tong admitted the lack of vocational training for them was a cause for the repetition of wrongdoing. In regards to public complaints that the police have used violence against prisoners, he said the ministry will inspect the cases of concern. Regarding public concerns about the population density in prisons, the deputy minister said despite the fact the government has allocated a significant budget to construct new prison facilities, some of the prisons in the provinces cannot accommodate the rapidly rising number of prisoners. According to him, one prison in Vientiane can accommodate between 400 to 500 people, but the number of prisoners there actually exceeds 1,200. Moreover, he said in some provinces, the serious drug addicts whose parents decided they should be under police control were also sent to the same prison rooms as other prisoners because there were no separate facilities.